Welcome to Raikurkul.com. In this video, we will discuss about monkey testing. Monkey testing is a part of testing where any individual being is doing testing on ad hoc. So, we will discuss here what is monkey testing, features of monkey testing, uses of monkey testing, the type smart versus dumb monkey testing, advantages and disadvantages of monkey testing in detail so if you want to learn about software testing please watch my software testing playlist from there you'll be able to understand the complete software testing process terminology and techniques so if you have not yet subscribed to the channel consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for further updates now monkey testing is one of the unique type of software testing process it was first introduced in art of software testing book written by glenford g Mears in 1979 generally glenford was trying to test in applications randomly so here he had started doing this testing on random techniques or random features asynchronously so that he found this is a useful for finishing or completing the testing on any application or website together so application by giving random inputs like in form filling or any username and password details so these are the testing randomly monkey testing is usually executed as random automated unit test and provide us the benefit of efficiently accessing software reliability from test results if we are performing load and stress testing, monkey testing works very well or we can do it with good approach. Let's say we are working on web-based application which contains first name, last name, DOB and contact number. For doing this type of testing rigorously to test the load and stress of the applications generally, people or testers are adding random value. So this is a part of monkey testing only so let's say we have to test rigorously or performing the load test of these type of forms with 100 times so generally we are entering the random value which all features of monkey testing we have so monkey testing includes testing software or applications by giving some random data and detecting whether the system fails or not so again coming down to the same web based form where we are entering first name and last name and contact number so generally in contact number we are providing the sequential data or non-sequential data so here we are just giving some value to verify the applications whenever we are entering this value is that application accepting those value or that is failing through rigorously when we are doing or performing this type of testing again and again the key intent of executing the monkey testing is to identify defects and error in the software to make sure that system does not crash once the entire development on the software product is done so here majorly we are verifying the applications we have here how much this time this is taking as well as if we are entering continuous value or we are submitting some regular value that should not make application to be crashed so this is how we are performing the monkey testing there are several other features on monkey testing like uh there's no specifications is defined we are doing this type of testing on precise test in mind let's say we we have the finance background and people who is performing this type of testing are from the different background might be they will use some set of inputs with the different background assets so that is also fine unless anything we are verifying the complete product thoroughly so this is called an in instinctive test that is performed without any precise size and model in mind so monkey testing is implemented when the defects are not detected in regular intervals and this testing will be performed to check the dependability and performance and the applications how the application is behaving when we have lots of loads or when we are doing this rigorously this is also checking the applications on that front to make sure that applications launch and exit time how much time this is taking 
the time and energy devoted in monkey testings are compatible to less than actual test efforts and any person who is having some testing knowledge can perform this type of testing even product owner or product managers are also sometimes doing this type of testing by their own to verify the major functionality is working perfectly fine or not the implementation of monkey testing makes sure the reliability and efficiency of the system what all uses of monkey testing so monkey testing can be used for database testing by beginning at transactions and sending some random data again let's come cover the employee information systems so employee involvement system contains the employee related data which is like employee id their name contact number address and their role so these are the certain specific value if we want to test this type of application randomly we are entering the detail to verify the data is inserted or not or if we are entering the some junk value is that database system is accepting the junk value or not so this is how we are verifying in monkey testing it can also be tested with the help of hardware or more preferably software to imitate the activity of monkey testing or inserting the random data the test the applications for wasp issues we can use the pre-compile and random data so let's understand which all types of monkey testing we have so first is dumb monkey testing second is smart monkey testing and third is brilliant monkey testing there is having some differences while performing this type of monkey testing so let's understand what is smart monkey testing this type of monkey testing is entirely attentive of the system or the applications the person who has the knowledge of their product they are performing this type of monkey testing this is focused on surpassing the applications and if they identify an error they are smart enough to report a bug also smart testing is an excellent choice to perform load testing and stress testing this is the first type of testing which is called as dumb testing dumb testing is easiest and direct type of monkey testing that does not know any of their functionality and system ability just tester is verifying the application flow with inserting some random set of data we can identify fewer bugs than the smart monkey testing but can naively discover significant bugs that are hard to find even those test engineers do not have any idea whether the given inputs are valid or not that is why dumb monkey testing is also known as ignorant monkeys in other words we can see that the monkey testing does not aware of the workflow or data being sustained to the application or the system so generally the tester who is performing this type of testing they don't have any idea about the data sets or input value but to verify the applications flow the sequence which all types of combinations we can use it on be on the basis of that they are verifying the complete flow is perfectly working fine or not next is brilliant monkey testing this is the important type of monkey testing where testers are verifying the major features who has knowledge of their products and they are also experienced into the testing and can also identify some bugs which might be found in the software in the future furthermore the test engine knows about the pattern of using the product and henceforth they are performing the testing thoroughly on their user point of view so that they can do each and every test or each and every functionality thoroughly so that they can find the complex bug as usual now let's compare smart versus dumb monkey testing generally when we are doing smart testing this is a part of system workflow which means where the product is and where it is will be managed dumb monkey testing is not aware of the workflow of the system in smart monkey testing they have some working ideas about the software product and dumb monkey they don't have any knowledge related to system and its feature and this smart monkey can report a bug on detected errors or defects compared to the smart monkey testing in dumb monkey testings we are not directly reporting the defect it finds lesser bug but may discover bugs that are difficult to detect 
even by the smart monkey. In smart monkey testing, the tester can understand the competencies of the systems together with its strength. In dumb monkey testing, the tester is not able to establish the system ability. Smart monkey testings are well aware of the input sustained to the system. That means they understand the valid and invalid type of inputs. But in dumb monkey testing, the dumb monkeys are not aware of the input type and provide a valid or invalid system. So which all advantages we have? Generally, this is a quickest way of performing this type of testing where the engineers are skilled in order to perform the monkey testings. This is a cost effective. Individuals can quickly classify the bugs with the help of this testing, which may significantly impact the software efficiency and performance. Reliability of the system is excellent approach. Anyone who is having knowledge of testing techniques, they are easy to set up and implement. New bugs can be identified during this testing. They would not have been discovered throughout the traditional testing. It is the best approach in order to execute the stress testing and load testing or in ad hoc manner. So which all these advantages we have? Generally, this is, this is an unexpected issue identified during the monkey testing makes the process very difficult and time consuming. In monkey testing, the identify bugs can be out of scope or out of business need. The testing engineer cannot assure the accuracy of test cases as they have difficulty to define the exact test scenarios. Implementation of monkey testing may consume lots of time before classifying a bug as it does not have any predefined test. It is done randomly. That's why test cases coverage can't be specific. So that's all from this video. Hope you enjoyed the content about monkey testing. And if you think so, this will be useful. Don't forget to share within your circle. Thank you for watching.